Wikipedia should be interactive and also you need to be respectful and civil in various activities because sometimes when you are editing sometimes when you are editing you get to uh, some your article might be deleted or maybe probably your article might be flagged for or tagged for deletion and you you feel that you've provided all the necessary information that is needed in relation to your um, article but instead of you to approach the person who tagged your article in a polite manner probably you go with an aggressive way which is which is, which is not good so that's what the advice against that you need to treat each and everyone with respect and safety because you are collaborating with everyone if the person doesn't um listen to you there are other demonstrators that, that you can at least seek their consent concerning issues relating to article deletion and also wikipedia does not have firm rules yeah it, wikipedia doesn't necessarily have firm rules but you need to ensure that whatever you are doing is in the is in, is in the right manner because in, in case you start to go in, you start doing things wayward you surely be noticed there are always people or admins patrolling various articles that is being written so can you take note of that yeah so these are basically the five places of wikipedia so with um a clear understanding of what wikipedia is and its um, foundational element it's time for us to dive into you know our hands-on session so we'll start We'll, we'll start creating an article we'll start working on one article so this will serve as a guide to the um the contest or the um, the write-ups that you guys are doing in relation to wiki women in red so i'm, I'm about starting um the article and because because i am um, time time we might be taken by time i have to i had to do a bit of research and place the research somewhere so you'll be seeing what i've done and i'll just be i'll just be um i'll just be copying and pasting and also we'll be looking at the kind of the research spaces that i took those information from so that it will be much quicker then maybe at the end of the lesson if there's any question that you like to ask you ask then i'll be able to um, assist okay so now we are starting so if you want to go to um wikipedia english wikipedia you type en.wikipedia.org en en.wikipedia.org then you enter yeah and if you 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 come into the space so this is the home page of wikipedia this is the home page and if you are not if you are not logged in my my interface if 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 you are also following me as such my, my interface might be different from yours because I'm, I'm still using the old interface the interface that you're having at the moment is the new one the reason why i chose to use the old one because i'm comfortable with the old interface but a new interface too is also perfect so please uh, if you have a different interface from mine don't don't be worried mine is, old, is the old one so just stick to the new the new one because that's what is currently being used so because i feel comfortable here that's why i'm still using this yeah so when, when you log on onto your your interface or the home page you you log in into your account so right now i'm logged out right so i have to log in so right now i'm logged in and i have to uh, log out but it doesn't it doesn't matter so right now i have to so for instance i'm, I'm logged out and i have to log in so i have to come so here with the logout here you see login then I just log in and type in my um, details. But you name me, let me, let me, let me do that for the sake of people who maybe might be struggling. So let me, let me, let me, let me just do that as soon as possible. So this, this is my username. So I type in my username here. Then I type in my password. And I'm good to go. Okay, so right now we are back to the home page. Yeah, right now we are back to the home page. Um, yeah, so right now we are back to the home page. So we'll be we'll be writing an article about um, a professor at the um, University of Ghana, and her name is 
um, Ziato Lydia. Um, please hold on. Um, Anita, please kindly um, accept those incoming, please. It seems that um, they are distracting, so please kindly accept them because they are still waiting. They're waiting. Thank you. Yeah, so in order to start your article, we are, we'll be writing an article about a professor called Ziato Lydia. So first and foremost, if you are starting an article, you need to search for the person. You need to search for the person first. If the person exists, then you can start um, writing your article. Uh, so my name is called to log in. Yeah, so if the person exists, if the person exists, then you you need to change the the the, the kind like as in um, what you are writing about. But if it doesn't exist, then you continue writing your article. So I did a research about this lady, and I I see that she 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 does she's she's not on Wikipedia. Please hold on. Instructor, are we still holding on? Hello? Yes, I was asking whether we should still hold on. Okay, no, I'm 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 I'm, I'm, I'm taking you guys through so you can I'm, I've started. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Can you see my screen? Can you see my screen? Yes, yes, yes. I can see your screen, yeah. Sorry about that. I think I was muted. Okay, so um, as I said, let, let, let me repeat what I said earlier on. So in starting your article, you need to search for the person that you want to write about. That's um, Lydia Iziatu. So she's, she's the one that we have to write about, and she's a professor at the um, University of Ghana. So I searched for her on the Wikipedia search, in the Wikipedia search engine to see whether she exists. If she doesn't exist, you see that um, her name will be will be in a red will be in a red link, and they say this page does not exist. So create a draft and submit for review. So what you do is just click on your red link, click on your red link. It will send you to another page whereby you can start creating your article. So I click on the red link. Yeah, so this 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 sends me to the page that I have to write about here. So this this essentially is the page that I need to write about here. Now, um, in writing about here, you are in writing in writing in writing um, an article about a biography that's a living person, or writing any article about Wikipedia. Um, um, someone who deserves a Wikipedia article or somebody who is notable based on the profession or the kind of engagement that, you know, the person is into. You know, there are other, for, for, the, for beginners, 
if you are starting to write a Wikipedia article, there are other pre-existing article within um, the Wikipedia space, or there are other articles. What I'm trying to say, there are other articles that you know um, are similar to the kind of article you want to write about. So because um, Didia Eziato is a professor, we can we can liken her article, the kind of article that I want to write to um, Elsie Fa Kaufman. She's she's the quiz mistress of the National Science and Math Quiz. So we can look at how her 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 article has been structured and also structure ours like that based based on the kind of um references or let me see citations that we get when we are writing the article you get it yeah so that's that's how that's what we'll be looking at so we, we when we are when we are about to write about someone get someone who is who who is into that same field or let me say profession as the one that i want to write about then look at how the person's article has been structured then write c so let's look at lc fr kaufman okay so this lc of kaufman we go to her wikipedia article okay, so this is her um her wikipedia article and you could see how it has been structured so we are going to we are going to work in that in that line we are going to work in that line yeah Yeah, so kindly hold on i want to i'm trying something so this is the process but i'm i'm going to another piece so please hold on and let me check on something as for you okay so um I've, I've i've sent it to a different page the reason is um i want i'll be i'll be publishing the work and i want it to like kind of go like with with where we went initially that's the main piece so because i don't want the article to be like deleted because i want to i'm showing you a live i'm showing you a live work that i'm doing otherwise if i don't if i don't do that you guys won't get to so I'm, I'm trying to show you how to go about it live if i was to use the main one that i did earlier on what I did will be deleted. So I'm just bringing you here so that with here, I can just do, I can just play around. So this is like an open space for me. But if you are doing the actual work, how I taught you the process that I taught you, use that same process in order to start your article. Okay, so we are about starting. And if you look at Elsie F.R. Kaufman, you can see that her name has been, um, under, um, has been bolding. And you can see that you have her date of birth here and also other information, Ghanaian academic uh, administrator and stuff. Yeah, so um, with, with um, Eziato, Didi Eziato, we can, we can also start her article. So we have some publications from the University of Ghana. So we can review that is given as the professor and the dean of uh, nursery midwifery and other stuff so I, i'll just pick some information from here because i know that in my mind i know that wikipedia is editable but i need to put it in a way that um it won't be deleted so i'm going to um, i'll just we need to watch how i'll go about it yeah so i just i just did some research within this piece took some relevant information and I'm going to make it available on um, her Wikipedia page that I'm creating at the moment. Yeah, so this is the information I told Lydia. Uh, Eziato Lydia is a Ghanaian administrator, um, dean, school of nursing and midwifery at the University of Ghana. So basically that's something simple, but I'll restructure it when I paste it on um, Wikipedia. So I have to just restructure it very well. So mind you, before I forget, because this, this is what I usually like use, but as in for the newbies, when when you when you open when you open your uh, your Wikipedia page and you're about editing, there is a pencil, there is a pencil, there's a pencil mark here. And the pencil mark 
means you need to like i said the the view that you are the view that you are using is like um you're using some form of source code to type but with the um the pencil you can change it into a different view that will give you a view like um you are, you are typing in microsoft word you get it so it gives you the view of like microsoft word that you can easily type and do other things easily as compared to like the initial screen that you, you saw okay now i just i just need to just structure the name very well because um she might be called Ligesia too, but you know sometimes to when when you are when you are giving some names when you, there are some certain policies within the Wikimedia space in concerning naming when when you when you when you when you read and you just do your research around the article you, you need to know the kind of name that you need to use for the person you get it you can't just because you will see that her surname is coming first before, before her first name but it shouldn't be so you get it. her her first name has to come then it follows by her second name then when i'm done when i'm done with this I, I i'm trying to structure this at the moment you could see that on lc fakofmes uh, page her date of birth is known but according to the research i did i did the research here and also other pages i didn't find the date of birth of lydia i didn't find it, the date of birth of lydia so i i just forgot that because if i found the date of birth then we 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 have an we, we don't have an issue to get it because we just need to just put the date of birth and make um, relevant citations or references added to it okay so a Ghanaian administrator dean school of um the school of nursing Lecture the University of Ghana. Okay, so th this is not absolute, but because it's editable, anyone can get time to come and work on it. But this is for um, training purposes. Yeah, so I put full stop there and I would have to bold in this. So if I want to, if you want to bold in, when, if you want to bold in this, you just need to highlight, you highlight this, the name. Then you go to on top of your title bar. We have textile the A, the A on top there. You you, you click on the uh, the drop down menu beside it. Then you could see that there is a bold, there is a bold um, um, tab there. So you click on the bold tab and to bold in it. But you can also do it in another way. You can highlight it and press Control B. So you name take out the bold here and just highlight it once again. Highlight it once again. Then just then just do Control B. So this Control B. It's like you're just typing on Microsoft Word, like normal Word that you are using. Yes. Then what I'll do next is what I'll do next is I'll I'll put my reference. You know the references always is below. This this is the reference. It's always below. But because you be you know writing and doing uh, adding references in addition, you need to make sure that your 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 references are, are like you've made your reference session available before you start adding references to um, the statements that you make, the inline statements that you make. So um, we we'll add a we we'll add a reference session. So in doing that, what you just need to do is you you write references. Right, then your cursor could be in front, it could be behind, it could be in the center of the text. Then you you um, you go to paragraph, the tab on top, the paragraph tab on top, right? Then you click on heading, you select heading. Then it creates a new heading for you, a new session. Then you are not done because you want to, we are trying to create a citation and want the citation to be uh, you know the structure should be something like this. You need to add something we call a template, a, temp, uh, a template called ref list. 
please take note of that please take note of that the template is called ref list yeah so we, we are we are adding that so you could see that the cursor is still on top here right on top of the heading the heading uh initially the reference was small so we just created a heading it has become big so what and the cursor is still on the line so what i do is i just press enter and it moves down so right now i want to add I want to ensure that any references that we write comes in that order so what we do is please take notes please take notes what what we'll do is our cursor is beneath here our cursor is beneath here and we go to inserts we go to insert so you select insert and within the insert panel or the drop down we have something called templates we select the templates then the template provides you with a search a search field so that provides you number of templates then within the search field you type ref list please take note of it ref list so you select so this is the ref list that i'm looking at. so this template displays the list of footnotes you get so the footnotes are the, re the the reference sources so you select the ref list select it then you select insert yeah, so right now your ref list is available in the template form and we've inserted it okay so now we want to add we want to add a reference we want to add a reference to this our first reference we want to add our first reference to this yes yeah, so, so our cursor is behind the uh, the full stop and want to give it a citation so so we we'll go back to the um, the portal that we're doing our um, we're picking our reference from that's university of ghana we copy the information from there then we come back to wikipedia and want to make our reference so in making our references you go to you go to the same um header or the menu bar and select site so when you select sites then you when you select sites when you select sites it, it provides you with a dialog box where you can you know make your citations and we're having three various ways of which you can cite we have automatic we have manual and we have reuse so with automatic immediately you put the link inside inside the the search the the the, the, the search box or let me say the citation box it automatically gives you the references but with the manual by the manual you need to go through a certain process first before you can make your citation or references with the reuse for that one you need to you know we maybe where where, where you've um uh, the information that you are providing in another session is in the same it's in the same link that you use as reference in another session so you just need to just reuse that link so i'll i'll, I'll just I'll, I'll show you how it how it works but first I wouldn't let us use the automatic i want to show you how the um the manual works right now the reuse is now because we've not made any citations until we've made a citation before the reuse can work so right now i'll be using manual because i want to show you how it works more often sometimes when you use the automatic it doesn't sometimes it gives you a red link it won't work instantaneously so that's when you have to divert and use the manual so i want to show you how the manual works so that in case when you when you want when you want to cite instantaneously and doesn't work at the automatic side you can use the manual okay so with the manual i select because we'll be using websites more often i'll select website but you can you can use newspapers you can use books and you can use journals yes yeah, so we'll be using websites so i select websites option then in 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 you no know, it provides you a field it provides you a form where you need to provide those de the details needed and it, it needs two essential details that's the the the, uh, the title okay prepare yourself okay so the title that's the title and the url that's the title and the url so that's that's what that's what you need to take note of when you start using the manual because sometimes as i said earlier on automatic 
sometimes it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't work like that sometimes i understand that it's based is due to the how the link comes about if the link can be broken or something else when you set it into automatic it's it's kind of finds it difficult but more often it works but once a while it has that um that issue that your link will become red and it won't work so you need to use the manual style so in using the manual style i, I, wrote, I already copied the link so i have to paste the link in the url so i paste the link here yeah then the next thing that i'll do is i'll go back to the page and um the title the title of the page is her name so i just need to copy her name and paste it here then what i do next is i just insert yeah then we have we 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 we, we have her we have we have her cited or we, we have a citation available here yeah but let me let me let me edit back and go back to automatic let, let me show you how the automatic also works so going back to citation select automatic hey, sorry So I paste here, then I generate. So it will automatically generate for me. I think it's still generating. Okay. So it's still generating. Okay, so okay, so right now the the automatic has generated. So this is the information that is providing now, and yeah, I insert. Yeah, so right now the the automatic has even provided much more details. Yeah, so basically this is how the automatic and the manual works. Yeah, so I go to then and also before before I move to the next paragraph. You would want to know, you know, sometimes you see that some of the uh, some of the pages they have some hyperlinks, you know, they have links, this kind of links. Yeah, want to make that available on the page. The reason why those links are, are made is because um it, it helps maybe when someone wants to read and understand certain things, maybe there are certain words or certain activities within the statement or sentence made. It, it won't it won't be understood by someone who reads the article until maybe the person clicks those, those links before the person understand so let me see whether we we have um a link for um Ghanaian administrator i'm checking so in doing that you, you select there is a, a on the on the same menu bar you select a link we don't have that so i'm i'm, I'm sure we need to do it separately so you can have Ghanaian. so you can select Ghanaian and select the the link yeah then select um ghana because that's 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 what we are looking at so ghana yeah then um administrator can also link that as well but mind you sometimes you, you need not to be um just be linking the pages like that Otherwise, you should be cautioned. You need to be just that the links are there to ensure that someone, if someone don't get something, um, the link will, will provide access to the person. And also, just for practice purposes and just for um, and for you guys to know how to go about linking um, um, a, 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 a statement, um, linking a word um, on Wikipedia. Get it? Because some some of you don't want to know how to go about it yeah so i think this administrator is not the kind of administrator that we are looking for i'm looking for this okay so okay so yeah we can we can also um, link this one university of ghana because we have university of ghana on wikipedia so we can link this one as well 
we will link in this. So we select, we highlight and select this. Then we link. Yes, we have University of Ghana. Yeah, then we link it. Okay. So we are done with our first part. Or let me see the first session, which is called the introduction bit. Yeah. Mind you, it doesn't necessarily mean that you should write everything. You can write. You can write a bit and someone will come and continue. But you need to provide the necessary references. Please don't write um, small and just provide small references. Please, the references should be more. At least you can get after maybe when you are starting a new article, you need to get at least five five articles. You get it five references. Sorry, concerning the article. Otherwise, the article will easily be deleted. That's that's my advice. Initially, it wasn't so, but right now. If you are starting an article, you need to kind of have five good references available. So we have our, our first references. So um, we, we come down, want to start a new session. And in her new session, you could see that Elsa Kaufman has an early life ed education, right? You could see that she, she, it provides you information concerning um, her father and also like us in her, her, her like a, a family background. A bit of her family background and her school you get it the, the school that she went her education and stuff but with um with lydia if you also check other sites because I, I i just had to pick from two sites because she also worked at you has that's um university of uh, University of um, Health and Allied Science. I think that's where she she also had she she worked around that space for some time, and you wouldn't find anything related to her early her early you know life those kind of stuff. You won't find those information um, provided for you. So um, the best thing is you just you 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 will make instead of early life and education, you just make it education because you don't have any information related to uh, how do you call it her early life so we just write about her education background does it yeah. so in doing that what you need to do is you you, you put your, your cursor should be down and you are creating a new session so you just write education just write education then um what you do next as i said earlier on the how, how we worked on the references the um, heading of the reference is the same thing your cursor can be in front it can be behind it can be in the center you just select your paragraph and select heading and you're good to go you've created um, a new session but when you're when you are done make sure that um your your cursor is in front of like the end of um, the word then press enter yeah so right now we are done with that then we provide the necessary information related to her education. So I just did some research related to that. So I'll copy and make that available. So you just you just need to go through you no know, this 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 her education, this information about her education, and this another information. I think do we have yeah, we have a bit of information about her education too here. She made some information about education. Too. So that's what I've picked and making available here. Yeah, so in, in 2001, she had to, she had her first degree in nursing and psychology in, in 2020, in that's in, sorry. So this has to be canceled. So this has to be taken off. Yep. So in, 20, in 2001, she had her first degree in nursing and psychology. In 2021, she she graduated with an MPhil in nursing from the University of Ghana. She she has a specialty certificate in oncology nursing from the Cross Cancer Institute in Edmonton, Canada, and completed in 2006. Graduated with a PhD nursing from the University of so basically. This is 
her education background, this is the information about her education background. And with here too, I believe we can we can do some linking over here. So we can do some linking on the um, psychology. And do some linking on the psychology. So we highlight this, then we select the link. Yeah, so study of mental, so make that available. Click out. Um, we've already, if we've linked something, don't link it twice. We've already linked University of Ghana. So there's no need for us to link that. So let me see whether we can have this oncology nursing. Let me see whether that has a link on Wikipedia. Okay, so this is it. So we can also link that oncology nursing. Um, let me see whether we have this cross cancer institute. Whether an article has been created. Okay, so we have that too also on Wikipedia. So we selected that. So you see, this is how we link. So mind you, the, we, when you are linking, just please just don't link anything. Just ensure that the links that you are providing provides you with you know um, like relevant because it it helps the reader. It helps the reader to know what's happening. Okay, so so this the, the the linking helps you know the reader because you know we we, all, we don't understand what cross cancer so it it helps the reader when he or she is reading okay so it helps a lot yeah and let's see um in Edmonton I'm sure we'll have a link for it let's let's click on the link again yeah so Edmonton capital and second largest city in Alberta okay so does it sell it then we click out okay so that is uh canada and completed in two six and graduated with a phd in nursing from the university of um of the western Cape. so let me see whether we, we can also get a link from the university of the western Cape. Okay, so that one too is also the University of the Western Cape. So I select that and link it. Okay, but let's let's also link the country Canada. So select Canada, then link it. Then when we are done, we can we can add we can add a reference. We can add a reference to it. So. We can use the second the second reference. We can use the second reference. So we copy the second one, copy the link. We, that's for the UHash Universal Health Analysis. And we copy that one, then go back to the uh, the article creation page that we are creating from. Select citation, then paste the information there. So when we, when we paste the information there, then we click on generate. So we are doing it automatic. We are doing it automatic. So the, we, as I said earlier on, I taught you how to go about using the manual. If the if the automatic don't work, then you go you, you use the manual. So insert. Okay. So now, so we are done. We are done with we are done with this session. We are done with this session. Now, want to want to look at another session or another header? Um, looking looking at LC Fr Kaufman's. Um, information we have some we have something on career and award and awards career and awards yeah, so um i'll go back to my work okay copy this information so we'll be writing something on her career so in relation to her career i just write career the the same process my case can be in front can be behind can be in the middle Anywhere, anywhere, you put the case about you just being like on the same line. 
select paragraph and click on the header then you enter then i then the information that i need i'll paste it because i already yeah so she holds a position in, in like in terms of her career she holds a position at sigma tetua she has served on a number of boards and committee and has been a nurse for over 20 years but there are other information there so um this the this this my this is the research that i have this is the research that i've done so i know that someone will surely come and continue but if you if you feel like writing more that's fine but remember if you are writing in wikipedia you need to be neutral as possible you need to be neutral as possible one thing to about wikipedia is wikipedia doesn't have emotions because it's not human it's just an encyclopedia and you, you need to write in an encyclopedic manner don't don't write in a way that you feel that you want to you know embellish whatever you are writing and make whatever you are writing look good to people who are reading but wikipedia doesn't have that kind of emotion it's, it's just providing you know relevant it's just a source of information where someone can come and start doing research from you get it so when you are providing an information don't try to you know embellish try to use weasel words in order to you know uh, or adjective in order to ensure that yeah, whatever you are writing looks good it needs to be um straightforward concise and let me say like kind of raw in a way you get it but it should it should, it should point out the the salient uh, information that the person is looking for okay so um she holds a position so we've already worked on so let me see whether we can get um how do you call it we, we can get a reference a, a link to this sigma the tattoo the position that she had there so let me see whether i can get okay so we are having that so we click on it yeah and she um served in a number of boards and committees okay for the person so this this is good for us so this is good so what i'll do next is i want to i want to um i want to add um a reuse i want to do a reuse because most of the information that have been said here is is what i've picked from um is what i've picked from one of the the pages so i'll, I'll be using so i picked this from the university of ghana page so i'll i'll, I'll I'm, I'm making a citation remember any information that you provide or any line or sentence that you've, you've made please make sure that you provide citations to that there should be an inline form of citations that you made in case when, whenever you are done with your statement and there's um, a, a reference available, please try and make that, make that available. Or else either it will be tagged that this article doesn't have the necessary um, citation or cite, they will just come and tag that that's, um, line or sentence that this 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 space needs citation because, because they feel that that information that is provided there is untrue. Okay, so... What I'll, what I'll do next, we, are, we want to create um, um, a reuse. So we'll be reusing the information, the citations that we've used so far. So I go, I go back to site, right? Then I select reuse. Initially, the reuse was inactive because I haven't made any citations. So right now, it's now active. So I select reuse. Then I, I use the first one, which is for the University of Ghana. Yeah, then I make my citation. So this, this is a reuse citation. And... When you, when you make, um, a, when you use a reuse citation, when it's appearing on um, the ref list here, it appears in an alpha, in alphabet. So if you do one um, reuse um, citation, it's, it will be A. If you use another one, it will be B. Let me show you an example. I, I'm, I'm sure LC has one, has reuse. Okay, so, um, okay, so, this is an example of reuse. So this this number ten has been used twice. That's for her. So that's A and B. A and B. So let me see. Okay. So you can see that we have number ten here. Number ten here. Okay, so we have number 10 here and we have number 10 here. 
you see that it has been used twice number 10 here number 10 here yeah so when i click on this this will still send me to this piece yeah so that's how it will be like it will give you it will give you the citations in alphabetical order so a b so if you have three to give you three yeah so um let me let's go back to the article let's go back to the article and we are done with her career so we'll move to the next session and we want to talk about her her achievements on mc her awards because we have lc talking about awards and she she has written it in you know like as in like as in various paragraphs but with um with lydia we would we would um do it like in a bulleted form we'll try and use bulletin to um, enlist her her awards or achievements okay. so i just go back to my awards and achievements and copy the information there so i i come here so i i'm down here so i write awards yeah please kindly mute yeah so um this this the awards so i select i go back to paragraph and select heading yeah then i paste the piece of information i copied so what I'll do is I'll do bullet. Okay. So yeah, so I'll just I'll be bulleting. You can either number it or bullet it, but more often the um the best options are usually bulleted. Get it? So you can either bullet or number her achievements, or you can either like put all in. You can either make all in a statement. Yeah. So check something first here. Yeah. So in order to bullet, you know, we have we have this tab here called the structure. So you select the structure and you just select bullets, then bullets everything for you. Where you want if, well, where you want to bullet, you just make it bullet. But if you don't, if you also don't want to, you don't want one time bulleting. If you don't want one time, if you don't want um straightforward like one time bullet, you can do it one by one. If you don't get you can just bullet one but it's just simple it's just like you're using microsoft word to just do it one by one get it do it one by one do it one by one so that it will be um it will be good for you okay okay Okay, so right now if we've bulleted all her achievements or awards but we need to uh, make sure that all is cited so list of awards so we can cite this we can just um cite this piece by doing sites and do we, would, we can just reuse um where we pick the information from that's We we'll pick the information from that's in relation to the legon yes yeah, so we can just pick this so we've cited yes yeah, so we've cited this whole space so that anyone who comes in knows that yeah this space I've, so this is a reuse this is a reuse i'm not going to pick any so this is a reuse so by by in case you find any relevant information you can also make that available here then then the, the next the next is um her, her research you want to maybe you want you want you want her research to be known you want her research to be known so 
some the, she, I think we I had information some information about uh, her research. Okay, so her research most of, most of them are from different portals. Yeah, so let me let me take my time in. So the same. So we are creating a new heading. So research. Paragraph. Paragraph. Enter. Then I paste the first one in the first research. Here. So I bullet, I bullet it. So this is the first research. Yeah. Then it has its own references. So I just copy its references. This reference is different. So I copy that. So this, uh, let me show you, let me show you the research. So this is that that's from Google Scholar. So this is a um, research from Google Scholar. The information was picked from Google Scholar. So you can, there's a lot of references there, but I just picked a few. So that's here. So yeah. So copy, so I copied that then full stop then make a citations behind make the citation behind so i go back to automatic and paste the information there the reference there then i generate then insert then the next thing is i go back i go back to where i've made the research copy another information related to her research in in religion research around religion paste the information there just beliefs and practices in pregnancy and labor then then i i make i so you could see that um the reference here has changed to three because initially we had one we had one here two here instead that we are using we're doing how do you call it um we use we use them reuse here so it's, we had only two references the rest are all reused so this is another reference so i'm going back to start to copy this yeah so i copy this then come back yeah then select citation automatic and you need to search them then the next step, I'm adding the last research, adding the last one. So that's facilitators and barriers in herbal. So I copy herbal study. So, full stop. Then I go and copy the link. Paste the link, then generate. Yeah, it's set. Okay, so, yeah, so basically, Right now we have we've done we have five citations or five references so far so good yeah so right now we are done we've provided all the information in creating a a new article and right now I want to publish it so we go to publish right you click on publish then in the in any time anytime you you um like you create a new article and you are publishing they ask you. They ask you uh, just give a brief um, information about whatever you've done so far. So you, you can just say created new article. So I already have that over there. But if you are new, you won't see that until you, you type and the system automatically saves it. So next time when you are writing, then it provides that information. So created new article. Article. I can either select this or write the full thing. So I'll just select it. Yeah. So when I'm done, I just publish.
So it's loading, it's loading, it's loading. Then yeah, it provides me the full information related to her article. So this this is the whole thing about the article. So now you can see that the references are now there. You can see that the references are now showing because we published and we, we added the reference so you can see everything there. But when you are doing it, when you start, those information will be made available. But you need to ensure that you make you ensure that you start your introduction bits ensure that you, you make you get your, re, your references heading then you make your reference so that's you are going then you'll be providing those informations there okay so one one more thing one more thing as we go on uh, one like i think we are left with some two steps to do before we can end the session we need to add something we call categories and when we talk about categories categories means um um various spaces that you know can um, the article can identify itself with or this personality or biography can identify herself with so let, let me go to i can just go to lc lc's article as i said mind you just be using the one like the one that uh, the pre-existing article just copy if the information don't try and copy like that and just look at how it is structured the ones that need copying you copy but the ones that and doesn't need copying make sure that you, you structure everything yourself or construct everything yourself and remember before before i forget when you are when you are when you are um, taking information from a, a website try and paraphrase otherwise when you when you copy the whole sentence the, the administrator working on the article will come will tag you and tell you that the article that you are writing has been copy edited so make sure that you paraphrase in a way that when, when someone sees it you know the, it, it wouldn't it, it wouldn't resemble whatever is there but it's the same it's the same thing and as i said don't try and embellish whatever you are seeing just make it look raw you get it but carries the width of whatever i want to see or what the um what's um the or where you had the information from that's the same thing that you you, you said on the wikipedia article okay so we are we, this is the category and we want to add it so um the woman still exists she's not dead lydia is still not is still exists so i just copy this it's a living person so i just have to copy that go back to your article then you could see that beneath we have categories so i click on the plus sign and paste living people there then select this then select okay so the 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 category has been added then i i click on the plus again because I want to add more categories in relation to her field. She's not an engineer, she's a nurse. So let me see whether we could get Ghanaian nurses. Sometimes if you don't find the information here, we can we can also try and see whether when we search in the category, we can get Ghanaian nurses. Okay, so we have Ghanaian nurses. So this is it. So we just select it, then okay. You are good to go then the next one is the next the next one is let, let me see okay but me can you remain an engineer okay so let's we can use we have academic staff of the university of ghana so let's use um, academic staff of the university of ghana so we can copy this So we'll come back to the category paste it in. so yeah and let me see whether we can still ascertain other information from here so i can see she's she's an the way her name is she's an L. so we'll look at that uh, we don't have so 21st century Ghanaian science so she 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 says she said this thing 21st, so we can copy this 21st century Ghanaian scientist. We can copy that. Okay. Then I think she she's an LA because her name is Ziatu. She's an she's an LA. You can you can correct me if I'm wrong, but so I can see away people. Do we have that existing? Okay, so that's it. Away people. 
you see your type you need to see like i in the the auto auto system has to display it so that you know that yeah something of that sort exists if it doesn't exist then I mean that you have to forgo it so then then the next thing is um Ghanaian woman scientist so she's she's an so she's a scientist as well so i paste there okay then the next thing is we have another other information Ghanaian academic so she's in the academic space okay then we are having um 21st century Ghanaian women woman so we'll make that available 21st century Ghanaian women make that available okay then we have um i think the last one will be because people feel, no then we have um ghanian woman uh, yeah we have ghanian woman academics okay, so we can copy that and make that available there so yeah, there's more that we can add to it based on the research that we do. So we can do research and also make that available at the category side. So the next thing is we go to, we want to create want to create the session where we can we can make her image available. We don't her, her image doesn't exist at the moment, but we should, I'll take you through on how to. Well, so you see that this is Elsie's photo hanging over here so we'll create something like this for uh we we'll create something like this for uh, media we we'll create something like like this for here so what we need to do is what we need to do is we 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 will we, we, we'll copy we we'll copy this thing and just paste it on here on Lydia's wikipedia page then we will we'll edit it we'll just edit the information inside so I just I click on edit. So I click on edit. Yeah. Then I copy and I just click on I click on the uh, the box, the whole box. I click on it. Then uh, I copy just controls. Uh, yes. Yeah, so, uh, Okay, so control C just just sell you just need to select it and copy. Let me see whether it works. Just select and copy. Then you see where your cursor is. Your cursor is behind Lydia, right? Your cursor is behind Lydia. So you come down, you come down once, enter, then go up to the cursor, then you paste, you paste the information. Okay, it worked. So what you just need to do, you just need to click, you just need to click on it and just copy control c you copy it that's all right then right now what we need to do is we want to edit the information here because we want Lydia's information so we, 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 what what to do next you click on it right you click on it then you edit you click on edit then change you change the name here right then um um you remove this is this is the image you remove the image uh, don't have any information about her bed let's take it away this of bed we don't know but i know that she's a Ghanaian 
Let's say Ghanaian. So um, education, the education bit, we we we'll have to go and copy that. So we just leave leave that on hold for now. Um, occupation. Uh, We could, we could, I think we could make it um, trainness or something of that sort. We, we, we'll look at that on here information. So, employer, University of Ghana. Um, they're known for, I don't know what we'll put there, but we'll, we'll take that out. Um, I think she has won a number of awards, so we can, we can just add one to it. We can just add one to it. Website. That's her official website. She doesn't have one. So let me take out this information. This information, taking it out because it's not something that we need. Yeah. So apply. So when, when you apply, yeah, you could see that yeah, her information. We can just have only leaders' information there. Yeah. So um I'll be copying uh Hello everyone. So it seems Jesse's internet has a little issue. So let's just give him some few seconds to come back. Thank <laughs> you.
こと Okay, so can you hear me? Yes. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. I, I can hear you from here. Okay. Okay, so um, I'm going back. Like, where did where did I reach before? Um, I lost I lost you guys, so I got out of the call. Just want to know so that. So if I can continue. Uh, picture. Okay. Okay. So. Yeah. So I. So so this is the this is the picture box that's called the information box. So I was editing through. So I pasted it there and I was. Sure. Come again. Your page is not sure. Okay. Yeah. You are not sharing your screen. You are not sharing your screen. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, thank you. Is okay, can you see my screen now? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so so means I'm just joining. Um, okay, so I've taken all the uh, unnecessary details that I need to to do. So I'll take out this one. This one, those things that are, are not of hair, just take it out and replace it with hair. So all those details that are for LC, LC, you just need to take them out and replace them with um, the idea is here too. So apply, so I apply, and the details changes to hair information. So you know, Nationality Ghanaian Education, um, University of Ghana. I want to add other um, species where she also, so University of, um, University of, the Western Cape. So I copy that. Then I I, I click on the um, the information box again. Then I click on edit. Then so this the, so I, so this info, um, the education bit. Then I put comma there. Then I put I use double uh, double bracket um, double square bracket open and close one two one two. Then I put the information inside. That's um, Can't hear you, please. So when I'm done, I click on publish changes. Yeah. Then I'm done. So basically, this yes. is the. Uh, Your this screen is, the... is not showing. Hello, can you see my screen? No, please. No, can you see my screen now? No, okay, yeah. Uh... Can you see my screen now? Yes, please. Okay. 
So where, where did I lost you guys? Like as in, um, where, where did I, where, where did you miss so that I can go back again? A double because I'm, I'm sure to be the info box. Yes, you started with a double bracket. That's where you, you lost. Okay, so. So I go back to edit. So some of you said um, you didn't get the uh, the double bracket. So so the, we are we are around here. So we are just trying to the double bracket means linking. So I'm trying to add schools like that's concerning her education. I just want to add schools to her background. So I copied this this from her education bit, and her education too is also within the info box. The info box is just a summary of her activities, right? So I I click on. It's, it becomes blue. Then you see a template appears. Then you see edit. So I click on edit. Then it sends me to the box. So I'm just adding. I'm just adding any information that doesn't belongs to her. I just take it out and replace it with information that she aligns herself herself with. So right now I have University of Ghana. I have University of Western um, Cape. So that that's the two schools that she went. So this is another school that she went. So in doing that, um, adding another school. If there if there's a link about it or it exists on Wikipedia. You can you can link it so so in doing the link you do double brackets open that square bracket open double square bracket close then you put the uh, her school inside so when you are done then you apply you select apply then you publish let's see before i publish let's see whether the school is good. yeah so we can have um cross cancer institute so that's what we place in so you can see that it's linked so right now I'm publishing it. So um, added 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 info box. So I'm already having. So I just select that and publish it. And yeah, so right now we are we are done. We are done with like as in uh, the whole how to create the whole Wikipedia article in some yes. in some minutes and my time is up now yeah we, we are done but one thing before we go once i want to show you one thing before we leave before we close the session before anita takes over yeah so maybe you want to edit maybe there's a mistake somewhere Ed editing editing when you talk about editing editing means oh there's an error here there's a, a grammatic um instability here there is something which which doesn't seem well in this place or there is um, a citation that you need to add when you want to do that, you just click on the edit, right? You click on the edit, then you make your corrections. Maybe you want to link the administrator, you just select this, then you link it. There's an administrator that they link it. Or maybe there is a place where uh, there shouldn't be a full stop or there's no, there's no full stop somewhere. Or there, there's a place where there is no comma. You just make it available. Or maybe some there's a place, maybe the, the gaps are too much. So you just make that available so right now so okay so the, with this one you could see that oh there are no full stops behind the um hair award so i can just make that available because i'm doing uh, it, it has to have because it has to have some full stops there get it so i'm just making so this this is the editing this is the editing bit of it just trying to edit and so maybe some of you might not be able to um create the articles and other stuff, but you might be interested. So it's based on your interest. It doesn't mean that you want to create a full-fledged article. You just can be only correcting of mistakes, doing checking for grammar, those kind of things. Get it? But you need to do it in a way that won't cost, won't have a cost on the article. Because some of the articles, they are already, they've already been, you know, they, they, like it's in full, it's in poor position. So there's no need for you to go and structure or do something on that article. Yes. Yeah, so I publish it. So what 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 I write is um, edit or correct or I can select I can do edit or maybe corrected an error or something of that sort. But I'll do it edit. But it, so the edit summary is whatever you, you did on the article, you just made it to be known so that if someone comes to check that or what the error did this person correct, then you see the error. So how how do you check that? So any 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 um any edits that you make are all found at the uh, view history. So you go to view history. Yeah, so you see, oh, to, you see, you you see that on this on this, this when I started, this is the time that I started doing the creating the article, yeah, and I started adding um, how do you call it um, categories. So the various categories I've added is what is showing here. You get it. So you could see that I added this various categories. Now, like I added info box. 
So when I added the info box, I said I added info. So this was showing added info box. Get it? Then um, I added I, I added another information concerning info box. So this is it. Then what I did again was I I edited. I made some corrections and other stuff. So this, this is the so when someone wants to know whatever you have done, the person will come to the view history and see what the person has done. And you are not the only person who will be working on the article. There are other people who will be working on the article. And you could see that when I created the article, you could see that here I wrote, when I was done with the article, I wrote created article. So the full-fledged article, this is it. And it gives you the number of bytes, as in, like as in the, the words that um, were involved in creating the article. Then when I was adding the category, it was giving you, it, it gave me that like the number of, bytes i was adding yeah so basically this is um how to you know create a full-fledged article adding hyperlinks the um, doing editing and also following the uh the five place of wikipedia in order to you know um edit your article so yeah without much i do i like to see um thank you for joining this session yeah, thank you for joining this session. Yeah. So I don't know if anyone has quite some questions for me before um, I, I hand over to Anita. Yeah. Yeah, hello. Yeah, hello. Yeah, so who, who controls what what is supposed to end up on wikipedia maybe if the information i'm updating is wrong who controls that yeah there are there are, demonstra are demonstrators that are um working around any article that is being created so if your article um has an issue it will be flagged for deletion or like you flag your article that you need to work on it so there are there are administrators that are also working there are like some people who like us indeed you know, because Wikipedia is volunteering stuff, we have other people that are writing articles, people that are, are, are looking at technical stuff, and people that are also looking at just um, how an article is written and structured, and they want to ensure that um, no, no, notable articles are available on the space. That's, 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 what, that's, what, that's what they want to do. They, 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 they don't want to write articles. So you that you are writing articles, you need to ensure that you follow... The, the guides that's the five pillars of wikipedia you follow that five pillars in order for you to you know create your article so there are people there are, there are those who they call them administrators or patrollers they they, mm -hmm. they they monitor various articles that have been created. so immediately you create an article it goes through a process in order for it to be published on the main space yeah okay so how long will it take for this published article to be live it depends I can't tell. I can't. I can't tell you that article will take um, a week or maybe a month. Or it depends. Someone can create an article within um, a week. The person, like us, in a week, the person will, will get the article uh, in the main space. Someone to to take time before, like maybe to take like two months, three months before the article will be reviewed and published in the main space. So me, I can't tell you that an article um, like has this number of durations before it will be made available for me i'll say it depends it depends yeah depends. Okay. because other people do just immediately they create article is 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 this one there i say it goes through a process and maybe they like they've gone through the like they've gone through your article and they feel that no this one has to still go through some more process and that's why it takes time and no as i said it's like people are volunteering their time to do that to get it so that i say it depends mm -hmm. No, okay. Okay. Yeah, so with the with the picture side, where the profile is. Yeah. Where you have something like a DP. Where you have something like like a DP, where the picture shows. Okay. Yeah, so with that side, how do you upload the picture to? Okay, I'm coming. Okay. So in uploading the picture, we have a place called uh, Wikimedia Commons. Can you see my screen? Yes. Can you see my screen? Yes. I can see yes. It. So we have a place called Wikimedia Commons.
so, so some of you who who had account issues use this page to sign on onto like um log on onto the space so this is wikimedia commons this is where we take the images from and all images that are made available are free they are under creative commons license cc 4.0 like it, it, right it, it, like right now right now things have changed you know initially they, they provided the license but right now you, the, the license are there you need to select how you, you you want your your image to be like so if you've taken a picture of maybe of lydia you come and upload it on this piece and you select the kind of um how do you call it the kind of um, license you want her image to um, appear I think maybe in the next session I'll, I'll take you through um how to like the image side because our next session is on wikidata so during during that session i can take you through how to upload so this is the space that you would um take your the image from so let me do a demonstration how you how you get your image so elsie fr kaufman's image is here already Okay, so yeah, we have two of her images here. So you 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 either select any of the two. So this is what was selected. So uh, for demonstration purpose, so I take this. So I go I go to page. So there are various ways of which you can get the image. So you can get use this file, use this file. So this is Wikipedia. So you just copy this. So you just select this. So you copy um, just from here. Now you select this just from here to this piece. Just copy this from here to, because that's what it needs. Don't worry. Just just for demonstration purpose. So you go to the article that we are working on. Select edit. Then um, you select the um, the info box. Select this. The edit again. Then go to where image. So this is image paste this you just take out the file information from there and take out all this information ensure that it's it ends with the extension so you could see that it's even showing there yeah then you apply so when you apply then shoes so this is how you get the image this is how you get the image but this is not here her, her, her speech so will not will not will not so you need to get the person's image take a picture of it and go to that piece upload the image and copy the um, the link file and make it available here so that's how we we, we yeah, upload the image okay. okay is there any question no again question. Okay. Does anyone have any question? Okay, so um so our next session will be next week Tuesday and we'll be having um a training on uh, Wikidata and I believe um, most of you have started uh, working on the article uh, the articles available. Let me let me let me let me let me let me um I'm coming, just give me some minutes. Can you can you still see my screen? No. Can you see my screen? No. No, please. Okay. So um okay, so let me Okay, so can you see my screen now? 
Can you see my screen now? No. No, please. No, please. no. You see, can you see my screen now? Yes. Okay, so this is the uh, article list. Yeah, so um, I think most of you have visited the page, but if you have not yet, let me copy the link and paste it into the, um, the chat. Let me copy it and paste it into the chat for you to use to see it. Um, give me some minutes. Can you see the link? No, I think it was sent to only Anito Furry. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, can you see? Can everyone see it now? Yes. Can everyone, yeah, can you can you can you see it now? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So this this the this the um, the article list that we've created for the the project. So you can you can so this this first one is Wikidata. This for Wikidata, of which I'll be taking you through next week. But this um space. This session or this um, table is for um, Wikipedia. Yeah. So we have we have the, the the article status, description, and country and link. So um, the status, if you see the status edit, means I just need to edit the article. But if you see create new, means I need to work on creating a new article on the uh, the, the 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 information provided. Then we have the description. So we are describing like we are describing what kind of article is it the country and also the link. The link is just giving you a one-stop link concerning whatever you're writing about. So that should that should give you a, a standing point to do more research on the article or on the article they are writing about. And please, you don't use, please don't use one link. Use like five or six links in order to ensure that you are writing a good article. Yeah, so basically this is the, um, the space. So you can go here and also there are, um, there are, more, there are other links available here within the, uh, the, the the table um, providing you more, much more insight about the project and also other articles that you can write it, because it's, it's this this is a global this is a global event what um, women in sustainability advocacy is a global project so you can you can also go to the other the global campaign and also start contributing from there you can also visit this one this page too and also start contributing here yeah, they are also other links related to women here you can also contribute so these are the, the ones on top are all the international projects but with here because we are in our local community we need more of you to also contribute to ensure that we 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 you know close the gap in relation to women in the Ghanaian space we don't have much of our women um you know on wikipedia women who are very notable are not usually found on wikipedia because sometimes the the, the number of um, references or sources that are used um, are not enough for them. So I'm sure probably you might f face that challenge, but the team is here. The team is here to help you in case of any challenge. Yeah. So basically, I'm done. If there's any question for me, um, you can ask. You can ask before um, Anita comes in to wrap up. Okay, uh, if there's no question, then Anita, please, the floor is yours. You can, you can take control. All right, thank you very much, Jesse, for the time spent with us. I believe we've all learned something today, how to... Uh,
at it on Wikipedia. Our next session will be on the 5th of December. That's today's week, same time at 3 p.m. to 4.30. And next week, we are going to focus more on um, Wikidata. Wikidata. I, I'm, I'm sure you would love to um, learn how to edit on Wikidata as well. So I don't take much of your time. We've already spent a lot of time already. Should you encounter any challenge, kindly